where does one start? Well, hi Anna and everybody out there. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity of uh, getting my thoughts out in the world and video form. Uh, my name is Mike. I'm a public servant. I work and live over here in uh, Northern Ireland. That little bit of the UK that quite often gets forgotten in uh, all the talk about COVID-19 and the implications for the country and all the rest of it. So I thought I'd bring you up to date. Well, today our uh, executive in Northern Ireland decided it would jump in with everybody else. No reason for doing it. We've a lot smaller population over here, about one and a half to one and three quarter million people spread out widely. Um, but nonetheless, they decided to follow Boris and everybody else into making masks mandatory uh, in indoor places from the 10th of August. They had hoped to do it maybe uh, at the end of August. Um, now, for no reason that anybody can understand, they've decided to bring it in as of Monday. So, uh, absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Horrified at the prospect. But I just thought I would explore the subject a, a wee bit further. Um, for those of you watching, um, this is a mask. Okay, When it has a filter attached, it will quite readily protect the wearer from nuclear, chemical and biological agents. It's a military piece of equipment designed to keep soldiers alive in battlefield conditions. It'll do a reasonable job. And this thing we are told is a mask, obviously to protect you against nuclear, biological and chemical agents as well, or at least biological agents. It's about as useful as a tea bag. Yet everybody seems to be going buck daft, trying to get their hands on these things, trying to wear them, in the belief that they're doing themselves and society and everybody else a word of good. As far as I'm aware, uh, this is about as much chance of keeping the uh, coronavirus away from me as, well, the analogy I saw was keeping a mosquito at bay with using a piece of chicken wire. But anyway, uh, I'm not a scientist, I don't know. But uh, I just wanted to share with uh, everybody out there another dimension where these ridiculous things actually fail. Um... As a dutiful son, I was out uh, on Wednesday, uh, yesterday, with my uh, mother. She's going to be 82 today, that's Thursday. So I took her out uh, for some lunch uh, in a department store in a well-known resort in Northern Ireland, near where I live. So had a brilliant lunch, absolutely fantastic, no issues, no problems at all. Uh, my mother decided as a present that she would like a kettle. So we went downstairs and we went through the giftware department. She found a kettle that... Uh, took her fancy so present sorted beautiful son nice one um on the way up to the uh till to pay for the thing um we noticed that uh, the girl behind the counter had a mask on now it was round her neck at the time as my mother approached and i approached uh, she pulled the mask up over her mouth and over her nose so that was fine, went and did the transaction, no screen there, mask for protection, blah, 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 good job. So uh, that was all done, uh, kettle was wrapped up, uh, passed on to uh, myself and my mother and we went away. So I decided I would turn back just to see what else was going on. And of course as soon as we moved away from the till and the counter, um, the girl went and uh, grabbed her mask and returned it to the position round her neck. Now, this is where these things called masks are particularly dangerous. If indeed there is a threat out there, and if we look at it on a general level, nobody wants to get the flu. If it's some sort of flu virus, nobody wants to get the flu. I've had the flu, you've had the flu. It's a crap experience. Nobody wants it. But you take reasonable precautions. You take your chances. So this lassie returned the mask to her neck. Now, Throughout the whole business, she was not wearing any gloves. So, if my mother has had uh, the flu, or is dealing with the flu, um, Ebola, the Black Death, the plague, anything, her droplets would have found her way onto the wee girl's mask, and she just went and put her bare hands on them, and those droplets and anything in them would have transferred to the till, to the keyboard, to banknotes, to wrapping, to carrier bags, all to be passed on to the next customer. So, what we got with the kettle was whatever the previous customer happened to be carrying. 
So here's what we're dealing with and here's perhaps a reason why shop assistants are not required to wear these things. Certainly they're not required in Northern Ireland. First of all, it proves they're utterly pointless. If people are not going to be wearing the full set of gear or don't fully understand what they're trying to wear or fully understand what they're trying to do, they completely undermine the intention of the thing by not doing it properly. So that wee girl, God love her, um, if myself or my mother had anything contagious, even the measles or mumps or whatever, we've possibly passed that on to her and she's passed it on to herself and she's passed it on to uh, whoever, just simply by virtue of the fact of not having the understanding of what she's actually trying to achieve. Is it false faith in these things? Is it lack of understanding? Is it lack of wit? I don't know. But if masks were supposed to do any good, the way in which they are used and the way in which they function it completely undermines the purpose. It's an absolute nonsense and an absolute farce. But as I say, the uh, Ministry for Daft Information and all the rest of it in Northern Ireland, same as in England, has decided that we're getting them and it's compulsory on Monday. No information, by the way, of how they intend to enforce it, possibly by the power of prayer. We have a lot of religious people over here. Um... And no actual way of saying what the exemptions might be. Um, so really there's an invitation to a level of anarchy. Um, what's going to happen to people like me who choose not to wear the mask, who technically go against the law? Am I going to be lynched in supermarkets? Or was the supermarkets responsible for my safety? How old does this play out? No idea. There's nothing on the Northern Ireland government website to... Um, answer a range of questions that you have so here we go folks we're staring into uncharted waters um so what can you say people don't seem to know how to use them they're useless what's the point um at what point you know in the outer world out there the big bad world will people start to take notice of those of us who uh, really would rather not and probably will not wear the things i was actually wondering earlier if it would be worth my while and if everybody else is wearing them and standing out, should I maybe um, have a sandwich board on me or a T-shirt uh, with Anna's uh, channel page on advertising? If I'm going to be drawing that much attention, it might as well be a positive experience for, for those who haven't yet woken up. But there you go. Uh, all I can say is look after yourself, folks. Keep smiling. Uh, keep thinking there's better times ahead. There's bound to be. And uh, as we say here in Northern Ireland, keep her lit. Thanks very much.